Have I mentioned where I'm moving? I'm going to Arizona today. Obviously the pool is important here in Arizona because come on now. So we are at Aviva in Mesa. I love everything about these apartments. Obvio no quiero estar aquí sin comer. Have I mentioned where I'm moving? I might have let it slip. Boom. <laughs> what is up, you guys? I am just uploading the video where you guys find out where I'm going to. And today is finally the day that we go to the airport and we get everything ready. Before the airport, I still have work to do. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, yes, I'm working till the last minute, okay? Like, I really am. I mean, it's still not the last minute, I guess. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to Arizona today and thankfully the flight is literally only an hour and a half. It doesn't take too long and I'm going to go apartment hunting tomorrow, which I'm so excited for and I'm excited to bring you guys along and just show you kind of like where I'm at. But I do have to go to work right now and I wanted to make sure that I had like the last things ready so that when I come back, I just kind of shower, pick up and go. Because also I asked my cousin, I was like, ¿Se te ofrece algo? Like, is there anything I can I can take that you want from over here? And I already knew it because the one thing he's always asking for is guayabitas de la tropicana. And my cousin Joey actually used to work there back, 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 back in the day. So he loves them. He loves them more than anything else. And so I was, I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Like, I got you, you know? So I'm going to be driving to the airport and leaving my car there. In case you guys are wondering, which I've told you before, the convenience of leaving your car there is so 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 good because lax has to like take you places to get an uber and that's just so much more work and also like the uber almost costs the same as the parking anyways i am gonna be driving and on my way there i'm gonna stop by tropicana to get them the guayabitas but i will see you guys a little later i'm excited i've been going live on tiktok and a lot of you guys have been wondering and asking me because by the time i'm recording this i still have haven't told you guys where I'm moving to like have you said it yet have you said it yet and I love the enthusiasm I love how excited you guys are for me I just I love that I'm getting to share this with you as I'm doing it as well because I'm literally bringing you through everything you know so thank you for being here as always thank you for exchanging the energy and in case you're wondering <laughs> I, some of you guys were like, are you finally gonna tell us where you work? Like, can you give us horror stories about your work? Baby, like one thing that I'm not ever gonna do is focus on the negative anywhere. Because where you focus your attention is what comes back to you and what you attract. And I am really not that interested in making story times about my work. And I'm also not that interested because a lot of you guys were like, can you do a dating series like in your new place or like where you're at? And I'm like, no. <laughs> that's not my content and i don't ever like i feel like i've matured enough to the point where i don't care to ever 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 whether it's work whether it's relationships whether it's anything like i my content is not about talking negatively or talking down on anyone else so that's not what the content that you're going to be seeing but what you are going to start seeing is more foodie spots because i'm definitely gonna find them and coffee shops because i'm definitely gonna find them and the fun stuff because i'm definitely gonna find it okay <laughs> so that's what you can keep expecting from me and of course a bunch of talk and a, and a bunch of conversations and deep conversations as i always do because that's who i am <laughs> so i'm not normally one to gossip or to talk down about people or to talk negatively matter of fact like when people start talking like that i get up and go and where are you going i don't want to be in the circle because you guys are just talking trash i don't like it so i'm never gonna make my content about that because that's not who i am either so yeah <laughs> I'm excited for my flight today. I'm excited to go to Arizona with my cousins because we're also celebrating one of my niece's birthday. So I'm excited for that. And yeah, yeah, y'all thought I was going to be alone, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to have so much family around, which is lovely. It's lovely because as I told you guys before, 
one of my really close cousins lives out there and I'm really close to him and his family and we've just built a friendship outside of our family if that makes sense you know so I love that for me and I love that for us so I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited and again that doesn't mean I'm going to be there all the time because I'm also not that person <laughs> I am the person that prefers to be home in my own space by myself most of the time. And then I come out or I let people in whenever. Like I remember somebody was like, Amy, make sure you don't just let anybody in your house, baby. I have not let anybody in my house for a long time. Like I don't just let random people in my house. I don't just let people I'm meeting in my house. Like I don't just let people in my house. So don't worry about that i'm gonna be very very safe thank you guys for your concerns and i'll see you guys not i'm leaving right when love is blind mexico is getting good <laughs> good thing though i downloaded it into my ipad because yeah i'm about to watch it at the airport you guys i came back from work i showered i changed i have my outfit on my airport outfit on and i'm about to be on the way to tropicana because my cousin has a pedido and i am here to fulfill that pedido because period glasses i got ipad i got passport i got <laughs> i got everything everything with me ready to go and check these apartments out you guys i'm in the city of downey i am about to get to tropicana and just driving here it feels very nostalgic because obviously like i grew up in the area you know like this is literally all i've known in my adulthood it's feeling very nostalgic i shared with you guys on the broadcast channel on instagram how last night or actually this morning morning i woke up with a beautiful gift from god and it was a dream where my dad actually came to visit and we had dinner together i served him dinner and it was a beautiful moment because honestly like i actually woke up in the middle of the night too because i couldn't like fully sleep i knew that i was going to be on my way to phoenix today and you know i'm going to be doing everything to change my life literally like my life is about to take a turn and i don't know where it's going and i i'm having so much fun because of it like you know what i mean i feel very stable very grounded and yet so open to whatever it is that life has to offer me in my new place and my new environment and everything new that I'm gonna be able to experience because of it because of one decision that I'm making for myself so I feel nostalgic and at the same time I'm falling asleep <laughs> so I'm really glad I'm going to Tropicana right now because I'm about to get me a nice coffee and I'm about to get me an empanadita and we're about to grub even though I already grubbed but like you know have a little indulging moment and then drive to the airport because thankfully I have clear and I have pre-check and I have all of that so I don't really need to be there like extra early but LA traffic is LA traffic okay we cannot we never know so i'm like that 105 be 105 sometimes so i am gonna go i want to take it slow i want to chill i mean i still drive like a speed racer but you know what i mean like i i i still want to chill like i don't like to be in a rush ever especially when things are in my control like if i can control something baby <laughs> yeah i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna take my time with it so yeah we are literally like two minutes away from tropicana and i'm excited for this because <laughs> i need me some coffee stuff. i have officially come back <laughs> and i got my favorite which i already took a bite of which is the beef empanada it tastes so so good like so so good because it's like savory and sweet at the same time so so good mm. and then we also have the waba with the cheese mm. yeah so good mm. and then i got me some coffee mm. dulce leche iced latte mm. so good and then the mixture of flavors in my mouth delicious <laughs> All right, let's go to the airport. Goodness, it's probably gonna be one of the last times in a while that I'm coming to the LAX airport. What? This is crazy. 
this is crazy. Cause Shawty know what she want, but she don't want to seem like she easy. My butt said it. Got you feeling loose. Blame it on the vodka. Blame it on the henny. Blame it on the blue tops. Thought that I was a, so I made it say ah. We are here, you guys. We are in the parking lot. I am going to look for parking, or I'm looking for a parking lot. But I put 93.5, and 93.5 plays the old jams, like the old jams. And so it's taking me back to high school, yo. Like, it, this is taking me back, right? And I'm, ooh, I'm right here. I'm right here, and I'm driving, and I'm driving through LA, and I'm like, damn, like, this is where I grew up. You know what I mean? Like, these streets made me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. And that's okay. It's not for everybody. I'm definitely going to miss the vibe, but it's time for a new era. I love this for me because this is how aligned I am to the point where, like, I didn't even have to look for parking for a long time. Like, I just found one. So, <laughs> time to go. You are here in LA and you're going away for a little bit. I promise you this parking lot is the best thing that LA ever came up with or LAX I should say. Okay, I got my passport. I got the mula. I got the guayabitas. Looks like I got everything I need. Half cabin secure. Delta and our global airline partners, thank you for choosing us. We're headbands as items may have shifted during takeoff. Y'all, I have officially made it to Arizona. I'm here waiting. Here? Oh, ya lo vi. I'm like, I'm here. And my cousin's like, I'm here too. Un pedido. Oh, <laughs> Hi. Me dio el calorcito. I know. Oh, they're all here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. One second, one second. Hi. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that. I forgot to. Hi, Mondis. Is your birthday tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Good morning from my cousin's house. Uh, I'm so, so grateful for my cousin, you guys, because honestly, like, I know we always talk about family and whatnot, but this person is literally more than my cousin. Like, if you know, you know. A lot of us have those relationships with certain family members, and it's like, this man will literally help me and guide me and, you know, offer his house, his car, like whatever it is that I need, no questions asked. And I'm extremely grateful for that because I remember when he first came over here, like he did everything alone, you know? He was the first cousin actually to come to Arizona. And now we have a lot more cousins and a lot more family here. But I remember when he first did it, like it was him, his family, his little car, and they were apartment hunting and they didn't really have anybody to, you know, kind of like me, how like I have them and I'm able to be here and stay in their house and, you know, so I'm very, very blessed and happy to be here. Today is the day that we go apartment hunting. Today is the day that you guys find out where I'm moving to or that it's confirmed because obviously a lot of you guys had guessed it and I'm really happy about that. Also too, <laughs> a lot of you guys were guessing like party cities and I call them party cities because like Houston, Texas, for example, like that's a party city. New York, you know, it's really chill, but it's also like a party city. Like the bigger cities, right? I was, I'm not looking for the fast life anymore. And I guess in apartment hunting too, like obviously wherever you go, there's areas, right? And I do plan to stay in like the, in the whole circle. So I'm going, I'm going to go apartment hunting in the whole circle of Gilbert, Mesa, Tempe, Scottsdale, um, Phoenix, like all those areas, right? Like I want to see what's out there and I obviously want to see the neighborhood and I obviously want to see if there's people kicking it outside because like I come from LA so like I already know what that means. 
there's really nothing like the metro cities because a lot goes on in there and thankfully like yeah there's not really like huge gang activity or whatnot here in this state so obviously there's less things to watch out for but you still have rough areas and you still have you know whatever so because i'm somebody that likes to do things very independently as always i want to be comfortable where i'm at you know like where i come from in la mirada which is where i've lived for the past three years that has been the best place that i have stayed at even better than like downy area i love it it's quiet it's like residential area where like people are super chill there is not a lot of parties going on thankfully so i love that personally i love that now y'all don't have to love it y'all can want you know you can be the party one but i love that because i love my sleep so i love that i'm able to go to sleep at a decent time and you know just kind of do my thing so obviously i still love that i have family here because they're accessible and and we're accessible to each other i guess so like cualquier cosa we're here but you know i'm definitely definitely excited for today's apartment hunting activities i at first i was in between like should i look for a two-bedroom apartment so that when my family comes and visits then you know like they have somewhere to stay obviously even if it was just a one bedroom they'd still have somewhere to stay but it just wouldn't be like a full room to themselves but then i thought about it and i'm like well how often is my family actually gonna come they're obviously not gonna come every month and whether or not like they come every three four months like it doesn't make sense for me to be paying an extra 200 to 300 dollars of rent just for that because like no it doesn't make sense we're being financially smart in case you're wondering amy what are you looking for so i will tell you the way that i found these apartments actually all of them i found them through google and my keywords were luxury apartments now if you go on tiktok there is a whole rabbit hole of people obviously being like this isn't luxury this isn't luxury this is a necessity this is a necessity and it's true however where i come from in la you know like unless you're willing to pay like the really really high end super expensive stuff you don't have a washer and a dryer in your apartment for example so i love that all of the apartments that i'm gonna go see have a washer and a dryer in the apartment i love that i love that all of the apartments that i chose i also look into when they were built and a lot of them are literally like new less than two years new and i like that of course if i end up with one that is literally completely new build and i end up being the first one in there like that's gonna be beautiful there are a lot of apartments that are being built here in arizona because obviously so many people are moving so also if you're from arizona i hope that you welcome me with open arms because i'm not here to take anything from you <laughs> I'm literally just here to live my life <laughs> and you know just really following God's calling but anyways you know people feel a little a little way sometimes yesterday we went to Costco and already Costco here for a Friday night was so much more chill than anywhere I've been even by my house in La Mirada where it's more calm the closest Costco to me was La Habra and it didn't matter what day I went like I'm living life in the fast lane you know like that's how we live in la and that's part of life and that's okay you know i loved it for so long and, and i was so comfortable there with that but now i feel like i'm at a place in my life where i just want something more serene more chill like i'm not in a rush for anything so like i, I gravitate towards people also that aren't in a rush you know like i just i prefer that because there's no need to rush if you take your time like there's no need to rush but you know unfortunately people out there do live like that and yeah like just going to costco it was an amazing experience because i'm like oh everybody's chill like choosing their bread like they're like me because that's how i be at the grocery store like reading the label taking like five minutes on just one th one item relaxing because it's an enjoyable experience for me like i'm not going as a chore so anyways 
that was really cool and then yeah so going back to the apartment we obviously have a budget for it i'm not gonna come and like super splurge also i do know that a lot of the apartments now are obviously not as inexpensive as they were before what well, you would have gotten here before for like i don't know um twelve hundred dollars eleven hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars even like it would have been top notch now those prices have obviously gone up and also depending on the area then they have gone up according to everybody the higher end area is like paradise valley scottsdale tempe is very college town gilbert is very like 55 adult and up which i definitely did see a lot of apartments that were like like 55 adult is what they called it and i'm like i me veo con los viejitos en la pool están mal <laughs> I'm like, I am not going there because I definitely look into all these areas. Mesa apparently also has its parts. Obviously, you have the West and the East and apparently in the West because, you know, the West Coast is the best coast is normally like the rougher area. I could be wrong. If y'all, you know, y'all that are from here, let me know down below. And then the East seems to be like also more higher end or whatever phoenix of course has its areas like i was guided <laughs> and i was told like stay from this side i, I forgot what interstate I, I forgot what freeway or highway intersection or whatever my cousin ended up giving me but he literally gave me a picture and if i still have it i'll post it up here because he literally gave me a picture and he's like when you're looking stay from this area to the right anywhere there you'd be all right but anywhere to the left like it's rough you know and i'm like ain't nothing rough like south central you know <laughs> like ain't nothing rough like la when i say south central not to speak bad on anybody that, that that lives in south central but i've hung out in the area for a while <laughs> so i'm just saying like i know what it is you know like we know what it is but anyways like i was like yeah of course like i just want to feel safe you know as a woman i just want to feel safe of course i have you guys always and of course i'm gonna meet friends and i'm gonna have community and i know so many people were like don't be telling people you're out there alone i would never like y'all should know i'm smarter than that <laughs> y'all should know you know matter of fact like i don't ever even whenever people ask me what do i do for work i don't ever 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 because i don't consider this my work i consider this my fun time so i don't ever tell people that i even do social media i don't even like to share my instagram my tiktok my nothing with people that i frequent i don't so sometimes they'll find me and it's cool but like on my instagram i still don't follow anybody and i've been so okay with that because literally like it's cleansed me of everybody's energy which is amazing so you know like i'm literally like on my zone i'm really really excited because I ended up deciding that I'm gonna be looking for a one bedroom apartment instead of a two. Um, obviously the pool is important here in Arizona because come on now, like, <laughs> yeah, definitely important. And as everybody tells me, like we have really, we have four months that are really, really rough with heat and you're gonna hate it. And then the rest of the year is beautiful like the weather is amazing you still get to obviously wear your fall and your winter clothes because it's still cold like it does get cold like people just say like it's hot that's the first thing they say and there's nothing to do but i mean i'm moving into the city you know i don't know where some people live or whatever it's not for everybody i get it it's gonna be my first time so we're gonna ex experience it together we are gonna be here and sometimes you're gonna make you're gonna hear me whine and sometimes you're gonna hear me you know be really happy about what i'm doing but i'm actually happy that i'm moving around also like the holidays and stuff because not that i have anybody you know that i'm dating or anything like that but i feel like this is the perfect time to do holiday stuff and that's my favorite time of the year honestly like the last quarter of the year is my favorite time of the year so i'm definitely excited for that going back to the apartments i don't have a lot of requests to be honest with you at first i was like i don't really want carpet a lot of the apartments keep carpet in the room because of the noise level you know because of the insulation i guess from apartment to apartment now why do i want something that's newer built because 
because of pest control i have been looking at reviews like no other even if from, from the outside of the apartment complex look really really nice and people were like you should go here i would read the comments and it was like you paid for valet trash that's never picked up all of these apartments except dogs so it's like people don't pick up after their dogs the noise level the this the that and i'm like mm, yeah like if tenants are already doing that like i pref I, I rather not you know the apartment would be like 4.3 stars right and i'm literally reading the reviews that are the most recent because i want to know what's happening right now not what happened two years ago because now management has changed so i'm looking into all of that i'm taking all of that into account give me one second y'all i'm on the time right now it's right here whose birthday is it it's your birthday it's your birthday i'm on tia duty so come on okay. we have mandy's asked for some milk so we're gonna get her some milk a ver mandy's Whoa. i didn't know that thing could go so far i know yeah, yeah. Milk? yeah. yeah? Do, you, do you want me to heat it up yeah. or like this she, she no she she does she does you know what you don't do the whole milk you just like put it in a cup and then you just leave it open and then you put it in the microwave for oh. like one minute okay all the way yeah like that but, okay. but stay right there right? okay so i'm gonna ask for a little bit okay. stay right there shows lupita it's her birthday huh yeah it's her birthday too that's her baby lupita y'all that's her baby Lupita. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And I need to do my milk on myself. Okay. You guys put this bottle in here? Yeah. yeah I don't know if, it'll, if it'll, yeah. it'll like smell. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's microwave safe. <laughs> I don't know if it's microwave safe either. Can I just right, Mandy. know what things are for? So Mandy's is turning three today. These are for cereal. Right. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna go finish my makeup. You good? All right, birthday girl. I'm gonna make my room here. Okay, you're good, Leah, or you need my help? You good? Okay. So apartments for me, what's important? What's important for me is the gym. Why is it important? Because I do want to start going to the gym again. I know I haven't gone all year, but you guys know that I like to stay active one way or another, and yoga has been that for me, which eventually I'll probably find a studio that I'll go to. But in the meantime, I definitely like the gym is important. The pool is important when it comes to the outside amenities that the communities or that the apartments have. Outside, a lot of them have like clubhouses or like work from home areas, which cool. I mean, I don't really work from home right now but that might be changing very soon so i would love that i can also use it as like whenever i go live for my youtube you know like for my blog and stuff i could also use some of those rooms so that's cool because some of them even offer like podcast room and whatnot and i'm like oh that's dope that's really dope because obviously i create content what else do they have a lot of them have dog parts i do not plan to get a dog so that's not really important for me but a lot of them also have clubhouses which is funny because i've been seeing a lot of <laughs> i've been seeing a lot of uh content about like clubhouses and whatnot and some people really use the heck out of the clubhouse this. like really really use it because it's like i'm paying for this amenity i might as well use it and invite people over which i do plan to like you know invite my family over for like the pool and whatnot so i definitely want to know like the guest policy the parking is very important for me i definitely want to have a sign parking like i don't want to have to be fighting for parking all the time now if my guests have to find parking then it is what it is like i'm really not worried about that <laughs> i guess like pool hours are important because i do like to indulge in like i do like to go in the pool at night but i mean that wouldn't be a non-negotiable um what else is important now inside of the apartment was important for me is i do want like an open concept right so i don't want necessarily like the kitchen to be separated from the living room like i want i would want it for it to be completely open so that it gives it like a bigger space in the apartment i'm also looking for the living room for sure to not be carpet i want it to be hardwood floors or whatever you call the material but i don't want it to be carpet in the living room or like in the main kitchen area or nothing like that like if there's carpet in the room and in that closet okay cool i'm all right with that but outside i don't want there to be i do want like a big closet because i do have somewhat of 
a big amount of clothes because obviously I keep my winter clothes and then my summer clothes and whatever. I have, you know, the differences there. I, I'm not really big on patios. A lot of them have patios, but I'm not like really big on them, but I, I would appreciate it, but it's not a non-negotiable for me, if that makes sense. Now, I don't want to be, I don't want an apartment next to the pool. I've, I, last time that I lived in apartments, like they were apartments that were so, so quiet. I didn't stay, we didn't stay by the pool, which was awesome because I personally, as much as I probably will be going to the pool, I personally don't want to be by the noise, you know? So again, like I really like my places to be quiet. I really like my solitude and I like to be alone. Like I enjoy that. And so I'm looking for that, you know? A lot of these places already come with, with appliances, with stainless steel appliances. So that's really important for me because I, I cook, I cook a lot. So that was another thing for me that I wanted a bigger kitchen because I do spend a lot of time in the kitchen. And also I want like a lot of storage in the kitchen because I need it. <laughs> so the kitchen was important for me for sure. What else? A lot of these places also have like an island so I like that I like that lighting is very important because I create content and I sold my light <laughs> so lighting is definitely very important um, I don't want to have like extra equipment when I can literally just use the daylight for my videos or whatnot and the natural lighting is just so much better than any other lighting so I would prefer that oh when it comes to free when it comes to appliances like a fridge that makes ice very important for me over here in the house like where i've been staying at i i do drink the filter water from the fridge because i constantly like i'm obviously in charge of that filter so i change it <laughs> very very often so i know that my water is filtered and i'm not necessarily drinking tap water which some of you guys may say like oh it still has some da 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 da, da. girl i'm okay i'm not gonna die i'm all right i remember one time somebody saw me drink milk with ice and people and and they were like you drink milk with ice and i'm like yeah and i even put it in my cereal sometimes like <laughs> comment down below if you do that so those things are important for me as far as budget goes all of these apartments average between like 1900 to 2100 so that's kind of where i'm at and where i want to stay at i don't want to you know go above that just because again i'm trying to be a lot smarter about my decisions and also i understand because there are definitely apartments that are a lot cheaper than that definitely like if you're looking to move out here there are places that will cost fifteen hundred dollars sixteen hundred dollars fourteen hundred dollars there are but obviously they're different and they're in different areas or some of them are in the same areas but don't offer the same amenities or are not as upgraded you know so it all depends on what you're looking for again like i'm looking for these things this is what's important for me so that's why i'm looking at the places that i'm looking at but again there's definitely room for so much more like i know so many people are actually paying a mortgage with two thousand dollars here in arizona because of when they bought their house right cool <laughs> i'm not mad at you for it and if you wouldn't that's also okay <laughs> i would <laughs> so that's kind of where i'm at with it i'm still not at a place where i would like to buy a home i'm totally okay with renting and i understand that for a lot of people it's like well that's a waste of money i don't see it like that because i have i have bigger plans you know so i am just gonna keep it at that i would love it if it was like a gated community like that would definitely be like it for me what is really important too is the mail room like the packages i have a lot of packages coming and i have a lot of packages that i order throughout the year so i wouldn't want any of those to be misplaced some apartments you guys are so upgraded that like even the stove is like i don't even know how to describe it but <laughs> i'm not necessarily like super like oh i gotta have a keyless entry or like i can just think and like let me come in girl if it's gonna cost me two hundred dollars more i am okay with getting my key and turning it like i'm okay with that like chill 
<laughs> I'm bougie, but I'm not that bougie. You know what I mean? Like I'm smart bougie. So definitely I will, you know, just see my options, see where it's at. Obviously these places are trying to sell, right? Like they're salespeople, they get commission out of, you know, whatever it is that they sell or the apartment that they sell. And so one thing about me and I've done my work is that this is what I'm looking for and I'm going to allow God to guide me because I really want to be placed wherever he thinks I should be placed because like I've said in my lives, like I'm like, I may see everything right here as tangible and everything like, oh, it looks great, but he can see past that, right? And so if in any way I'm going to be at a place that I shouldn't be, I'm at a place in my life where I'm like, you tell me where to go because what I've done hasn't always worked. So I just want to put all of my efforts into where you think I should be at. Even if I don't necessarily think it's the best place in this moment, you see past that, right? <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited for today. It's almost time. I brought my heatless curls, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna last with my hair down since I'm gonna be up and down, up and down, but let's see. All right, I have officially arrived to my first apartment. We are at Aviva in Mesa. And in case you don't know about the area, apparently, cause I'm also very new, you guys, so you guys can correct me, of course, but apparently Mesa has its zones, right? So if you're a little bit to the West is a little bit, less luxurious and if you're a little bit to the east then it's the better neighborhood so this happens to be a little bit to the east it is a little bit further than i would like to be but i really really loved loved the apartment and what they looked like online so i'm like it's worth to come and visit so we are going to come and visit our first apartments which is like i said the aviva apartments in mesa arizona ah! literally like i was gonna say california and i'm like my mind y'all gotta teach me the lingo here all right so we are done with our first apartment aviva <laughs> aviva in mesa you guys so i'm giving it like a seven it wasn't like this is my home and i think it's because number one the only apartment or floor plan available that i like is on the first floor and i don't want to be on the first floor the pool the amenities amazing like the the pool is beautiful it really is now i don't like that they have a limit of two people that i can bring over and i say that because though i do like to spend time alone i also would love to invite my family to come over and like be in the pool for a day right especially because they have kids like my nieces and nephews like i would love for them to come over and do that so anyways i give them a seven because yes the apartment is nice inside and it is 800 square foot and you know like I do like the size of the kitchen the size of the living room the room itself like the bedroom I was like it's a little bit small but like I can definitely see myself living like it's not small you know but it's obviously I guess if I compare it to the room that I have right now it kind of it's kind of the same so why am I expecting more right obviously it's the first apartment so I have three more to see and lo, lo demás que se me ponga enfrente like I'm gonna do it but overall it's a really great option I do like that it's super clean inside and outside they have LA trash which obviously you pay for but they come and pick up your trash from your home literally from your doorstep five days out of the week so like Sunday through Thursday I'm assuming they have Friday Saturday off which good for them but I'm like it no trash seemed to be outside which that's a good thing because I'm like okay at least all of the apartments that i walked by like there was no trash there was nothing and you know normally the first floor seems to be the one that shows us the most there was a little bug in there like a cockroach that was like this big but i'm not afraid of those cockroaches i come i come from sinaloa like we have flying freaking cockroaches you know i just don't want them inside my apartment outside obviously like you'll find them anywhere but i don't want those I don't, the moment i see them german cockroaches it's a wrap for me baby okay but no they seem like a pretty pretty clean 
place to live at for sure they are gated which i love like i love the security of that they look really nice outside and yeah i mean the only downsize for me personally is the lighting i did not like that there wasn't a lot of lighting there's a lot of yellow lighting which i know i'm probably gonna find in most places but overall like even if i were to open the persianas in the living room like i don't think i would get that much lighting they do have a washer and a dryer inside like i told you guys but i don't know it was giving a little cramped up like that's that was kind of like the little vibe i got and she did initially want to show me the model unit which was a different floor plan than what i had initially wanted to see and i really was not interested in seeing the model unit because i really don't care like how the model unit looks if it's not going to be the unit where i'm going to live at like i legit want to go see the apartment that i would potentially be moving into it did have carpet in the bedroom and it had a carpet in the closet as well the bathroom had multiple doors so like you can go to the bathroom from your bedroom or you could also go to the bathroom from the living room so like obviously when you have guests they can come in through there which that was cool i'm like all right cool he did say that there's another pool that's smaller in the other area so like i guess wherever you live is whichever pool you're gonna end up in but overall i do rate them like a seven pricing is really good i mean obviously the only thing i can compare it to because i'm not from arizona is from la and i know i'm not gonna find those prices over there or i will but the quality of the apartment or the quality of the place where I'm going to be living is not the same. It's not as high of quality as I'm being shown here, which obviously I do want better quality. So that's a plus that they're a better quality but i also want good neighborhood like i also like i said earlier like i do want to come out and be on my own and be okay with that so i'm excited because now i'm on my way to scottsdale also you guys i love that i'm doing this on a saturday because i feel like on a saturday everyone's out you know like i really want to see what the city's all about i have a little bit of time before i actually have my next like touring appointment which is in scottsdale so of course i went ahead and looked up a famous coffee shop or like a good coffee shop according to the locals here which is daily drip coffee so we're actually gonna go and try their coffee because you already know i have to find my coffee spots and i hope you guys tell me in all this area because you know i'm willing to travel okay for good stuff so i'm willing to drive is the point to all this so let's go to get coffee and then we'll go do the next apartment tour all right so coffee drip let's see i got the lavender white mocha it's lo que me llamó la atención so let's see what we're rating it <laughs> whoa first sip off the go i can taste the lavender i can taste the white mocha it's very refreshing right now especially because obviously it is warm first thought i'd come back <laughs> let me add that this coffee is on the sweeter side so if you're not a sweet type of coffee person this isn't for you the coffee taste is actually light like it's not a heavy coffee taste so if you're more particular about your coffee this one might not be it but it's a really pretty drink a cute little thing that i haven't to get and mm, I love that there's so many fit people here I love to be around fit people because it makes me want to get out there and run right now which I'm not I'm not a runner but <laughs> it does make me like damn i need to get on my gym already you know like it's motivating so i'm excited i'm really close to the next apartments right now that i want to go see they are in scottsdale arizona also these apartments i have really high hopes for so i'm a little early but i'll see if they take me they probably will why not like come on now you're not that busy <laughs> we are here so far there is no parking they do have parking outside i hope okay sir coming in with your course light <laughs> i mean it looks by the but where i'm supposed to park oh they're leaving oh no me ganes no me ganes okay 
I found a parking, y'all. I found a parking. So I would assume this is where like visitors would park too, but we're gonna find out and ask. I know I'm super early, but maybe they'll take me in. Maybe, maybe they la calor, ya empezó la calor, but I have officially toured the second apartment, you guys. And can I just say, I told you guys it's in Scottsdale, and can I just say, it, there's a Dutch Bros right in front of here. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, chill, chill, stop flirting with me. <laughs> but you guys, I love everything about these apartments. Okay, not everything. I'm lying because no, I'm not going to tell you everything because I don't. It's not everything. The pool could be a little bit bigger, like a lot bigger. Like it's pretty small. It does seem to be more of a younger crowd. I love, 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 love that they have really high ceilings. I'm tall, so you know. I saw three, actually four different apartments and I loved, <laughs> love the one obviously the bigger one i forgot how many square foot it is but it has a den it has a dining area it has a really big 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 kitchen and the little living room area it was good it has a den with a door so it's like a second room really so i guess like you're paying for a one bedroom apartment but it ends up being like two bedrooms almost so that one really sold me i really i really like these these are like these are like a nine and i'll give them a nine just because of the pool also i forgot this one doesn't have assigned parking unless you want to pay 75 dollars a month for it if not it's like a free for all so you can park wherever whenever like shakira says but depending on what time of the day you're here like who knows where you're gonna end up parking you could park far or you could park close who knows i made mahina with the groceries yeah so the two cons of this is potentially the parking and the pool, which are the exterior to the actual apartment, like the actual inside of the apartments. I loved. It smells amazing in here in the hallways. I do like that they don't have LA trash. Yes, I like the fact that somebody comes and picks up our trash all the time, but I don't like that that could potentially have the hallway smelling. You know what I mean? So I like it here because they're like, we have trash like really close by. So you won't necessarily like be out, you know, like it's convenient at least. So I like so far where it is. It's in Scottsdale. It's in a good area. I have a Dutch Bros right in front. I could walk to it. Not that I would. I mean, I would maybe not right now because it's really hot this is a nine for sure like a solid nine i really really like it and i like that it's more of a younger crowd living you know like no quiero señores i don't want 55 living that's not what i'm looking for but i also don't want kids living you know like teenagers or like college kids living you know what i mean like i want to mix <laughs> but apparently they're not allowed to comment on that so i'm like I get it. Equal opportunity, everything. Fair. Obviously, the apartments come with washer and dryer. That one with the den has a den. It has a huge... It's huge. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I really did. And the patios here, like, they don't have the best view, which, again, I don't really care for the patio because I don't see myself kicking it in the patio. I, 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 I never really have. Like, I do like to be inside of my apartment. And I love the island that it had. And, like, I, like I said, the kitchen girl like i'm gonna be cooking i need the space maybe in temprano and they were able to help me out a little bit earlier it is about that time for me to eat by the way no me acabe el cafe i really didn't i didn't take it down so i didn't keep drinking it but it is about that time for me to find something to eat even if it's a little fast because obvio no quiero estar aquí sin comer so i'm by the tempe marketplace if you know you know and if you don't know you know just kidding because i don't know either <laughs> i honestly don't know where i'm going i'm just kind of driving to see if i see any restaurants that kind of look exciting i'm gonna look for a chick-fil-a you guys there should be a chick-fil-a like a mile and a half away from here i feel like that's kind of i want something fast and also i want to obviously use the bathroom i need to pee real bad there's a bar Louis here. What? That's crazy. So I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A so that I can get maybe like a salad or something quick. And then we're going to go from there. Literal, estoy manejando en vueltas. Because I really also, no me apetece nada. Like I don't have a, a, a taste for anything right now. But I should have something, you know? 
you know when you're like oh i should really have something but i don't really want anything right now all right i ended up coming through the drive through y'all i'm just look i'm following whatever feels the best for me and yes i do need to pee but i'd rather kind of wait i'm just gonna eat in the car i'm gonna chill i'm gonna relax i came to the chick-fil-a and then i'm just gonna go drive and then i'm gonna eat and then that's what we're gonna do all right you guys i happen to get the new whatever chick-fil-a has whatever sandwich clubhouse i don't know what they call it but lunchtime 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 y luego i'm like can you guys do you guys have a restaurant i can use also there's obviously construction going on over here so like the area that i'm in is that solo la verdad y nuevo so i hope nobody thinks like i'm being sketchy i'm just trying to eat while well, we give it a try because why not A tomato it has bacon it has cheese lettuce pickles i don't know if it's supposed to have tomato or not it's pretty good the bread is different it's a little sweet but we have to and then we'll keep touring or all the apartments that i've been visiting have a move-in special so some of them have like 500 dollars off the first one i believe has 500 dollars off the second one had it might have been the same thing or like six weeks off or something like that so i love that because one of my questions is can we prorate that into the monthly rent some apartments let you some apartments don't it's like it ends up being a little bit less expensive monthly potentially like depending on what you're looking at right and now we are gonna go to another new apartment in phoenix really close to the airport which very convenient i would love well actually i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna love them i don't know if i'm gonna love them or i'm not gonna like it because potentially if you're too close to the airport it can be like the noise you know and like obviously this is a busy airport so that could potentially be a downside we gotta see because we live in arizona we live in arizona we live in arizona <laughs> damn I'm, I'm i'm literally like i'm about to live here that's crazy that just came out so flawlessly <laughs> but you know we are here in arizona so so glad that i narrowed it down to like my top three because i don't have time to be going all over the place you know and nor do i have the energy so i'm really like glad with the choices that i've made i'm really happy with like where things are and where they're at I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, like all of these I can apply for online, but the beauty of it is that I'm already looking at them now in person. So at the end of the day, whenever I choose the one that I'm gonna go for, I can literally call them and be like, this is the one that I want, you know, or like, yes, I'm gonna go with you. Also the application fee, which is non-refundable. And I don't know what other fee, it'd be like $250 or something like that, or 300. So like, you already know that for sure, you're gonna lose on that, you know, or not lose, like, I don't wanna see it as a loss, but it's part of the process or part of the money that you're not gonna get back. These ones do have a $500 deposit. As always, that can go up depending on your credit report, depending on your history, like depending on whether like the ratio between your debt and how much you get paid like a bunch of things which thankfully we know that i've been working on that so that shouldn't be a problem at all here we go we have one more we have one more if that was not a sign from god i don't know what was i just got a call i just got a call i just got a call you guys i just got a call that potentially the apartment that i want instead of it being ready by the 30th it might be able to be ready before that ah! <laughs> i'm so excited because honestly like this has been the one apartment that i left that i'm like ooh, i would love to live here this is giving amy yes <laughs> she bougie or whatever yeah i am i am i am i am but you know what i pay it <laughs> you know what i give it to myself well god does but you know what i mean like i work i work for this <laughs> so i'm so so happy but of course we still have one more apartment to go see so 
you know you never know you never know god could be like yeah here but actually over here actually over here so let's go all right i have officially finished touring you guys and let me just say that hangar 44 hangar 44 it seems like a really nice community i tour with nicole and she was she was a blessing <laughs> and i say that just because she was very informative and she also lives here it's a huge building i will say that and also i do love the lighting and the units that she showed me i love the layout i do like it the only thing that i am like iffy about is it's not giving me that like luxury apartment like how i felt in the last one you know what i mean they are on the newer side apparently they're not like super super new but the apartment that i would be moving into i would be the first one to move in there so they opened last august they have 11 buildings <laughs> so yeah they're not all full i loved everything about the pool it's huge humongous but apparently mark taylor residences happen to just have like that luxurious resort style pools so i'm like okay like it's cool the vibe seem good like most of the people also seem like in their 30s maybe before 40s like i i like it i do like it i do like that actually so i i really ha i have to think about it because i don't know I don't know. Right now, there's so many good options, and this is the reason why sometimes it's like, do you really want to see everything, and do you really want to try everything out? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I like it, but I don't love it, and I think that I loved the one before this, and that's why I'm like, am I willing to pay a little bit extra for the love it? I personally feel like I'm at a point in my life where I am. I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for the love it. For the, I like, hands down, this speaks Amy, you know? And hence why I wanted to do this alone. I didn't want anybody else's opinion, anybody else's anything. I literally, like, came by myself. I borrowed my cousin's car, and I was like, I'm doing this alone. I don't want anything. Anybody's nothing. <laughs> I took a bunch of pictures, took a bunch of videos, but I definitely... I'm like I'm gonna look over them when I get back to the house and see what I prefer and I'm gonna make a decision and here we are so let's drive back let's go celebrate el cumpleaños de Mandy's I have to go and pick up a bag for her gift actually so let me go pick that up and then I'm gonna head back home okay now first of all I'm tired like this is like the adrenaline that I've been feeling everything that I've been feeling like up and down up and down it's been crazy I have stopped at Dutch Bros before stopping at my cousin's house I'm gonna take the kids some chocolate milk and I offered uh, my cousins to see if they wanted any coffee so we're all gonna get Dutch Bros I'm gonna show up literally put my phone to charge because it's at two percent so I'm like I'm gonna make it home and I'm gonna put it to charge gracias a Dios people People were kind enough to lend me their charger in one of the apartment buildings and I was able to like get up to like a 30 something again but I've been recording and I've been using it and I don't have a car charger and yeah gracias a Dios I'm well protected and looked after so I'm gonna about I'm gonna make it back safely and whole <laughs> after todo lo que hice todo, todo el día like i feel tired i feel like i just want to like surrender you know literally like that but this little boost of coffee is gonna do it for me of course i mean i couldn't not be in arizona and not get the remolino coffee which is like what my mom calls it but i'm excited i'm excited because i already know that this is good coffee so we're about to get it I'm feeling a little adventurous, so I decided to go with the Irish cream kicker or the kicker. I went with the kicker. <laughs> Those of you guys that come to Dutch Bros more often, you know what I got. I went with the kicker with a soft top, regular soft top, because I hear that the kicker is a little bit stronger and it has the Irish cream flavor, which I've never tried, but I'm open to something good, creamy 
relaxing while I'm at the house in the AC talking to my cousins about the apartments and like you know just kind of going through things yeah that sounds like a great time <laughs> just to catch all up my makeup is still on okay and then my hair I mean it's looking a little bit more like you know down but less volume but we're still with my hair down we survived the heat today okay I can't even check how hot it was today but I know it was gonna get like up to like 108 and I was out there in the street at 108 okay <laughs> so I get it the heat is not for everybody it wasn't for me when I was younger I hated it to a core I actually hated the summer it was like the one time of the year that I did not like but now that you guys know where I'm at is Arizona does Arizona get all four seasons you guys were asking about that and I'm like I couldn't even give you a tip on that because I have no idea and I guess I just know that it doesn't snow at least here where I'm gonna be at which I'm totally okay with because if I want to go to the snow like I'm about to go to Canada or something you know what I mean so we'll see but I love the fact that this is about to be my new home you guys like I'm totally taking it in I'm gonna have a few days left in LA a few weeks like I gotta see timing and all of that but this is about to be my home very very soon and I'm so excited for it first of all all these drinks look beautiful <laughs> like yeah <laughs> Part of me is like, man, I should have gotten the Golden Eagle with the strawberry soft top because it's chef's kiss, y'all. Like, I did not make it go viral just for nothing. Like, it is that good, okay? I hope you know, and I hope you've tried it. And if you haven't, I hope you go try it. And if you think it's not it, change the milk to another type of milk that's not half and half so it doesn't taste like milk. Like, I get it. I get it. Maybe they didn't make yours right. I don't know but I can always mix with the milks but I did end up getting the kicker so I don't even know what it is and what it has I just know it has the Irish cream and I'm excited for it I'm excited because it's something new and why not I am at 1% on my phone you guys and I mean I've been in this area already you know quite some time like a few times I should say I would like to say that I'm pretty good with directions for the most part like I'm not really good with street names freeways none of that but I have a good memory of how to get to places if that makes sense because I always use the GPS like even where I've lived for three years I still use the GPS okay but my point to this is that I'm eight minutes away from my cousin's house and if for whatever my I was making sure that coffees didn't fall if for whatever reason my phone happens to die which I know God's gonna get me there I will <laughs> make it because I know where I'm at now. Es que soy inteligente, gracias Dios. No nada más tengo carita, también tengo mente. Okay, gracias. <laughs> That's something my boss tells me. He's like, Amy, you're you're not just pretty, like you're actually very smart. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I am pretty smart, you know? Like I was just a mess and sale and I'm like, wait, what's two plus two? It's four. <laughs> But you know, I think it just depends on, on where I'm at. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I, I'm pretty close, so we're gonna make it there, we're gonna get there, and we're gonna chill, relax, and taste this coffee, and I'll let you guys know how good it is. How about that? V, one thing about God is he's gonna protect me and guide me and get me to places safe. Can we say amen? Woo! They're waiting for me because they just opened up. How is it, Jay? Te estás absorbiendo. Good. I got the uh, the kicker, but with soft top. So so. Según. Así para que lo pruebes con el con el strawberry. A ver. Está bueno. Está la fresa. Ah, pues sí. Está bueno, pues sí. A ver, ábreme esto. Estoy desesperada. Yo tampoco. ¿Tienes? Sí, pues, pero no. Ah, no, pues una, 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 una Trae, traigo. Una de mortal. <risa> All right, let's try it. El Irish Kicker está, es hecho con half and half, ¿verdad? También. You don't know. Yo, ese fue el que la vez pasada, ¿verdad? 
I'm oh, it's good. It really doesn't taste like Irish anything. Yeah, no. Cheers. Cheers. Ese es el Ajá, es como strawberry, pero es un strawberry que te da. There's 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 something que tiene ese tipo de strawberry. It's a syrup. Ajá. Oh yeah. That's it. I think that's why it tastes so good. It's like strawberry chocolate milk. It's like strawberry chocolate milk. Sí, literal, delicioso. I just want to let everybody know that Mandy's loved her gift. Mandy, do you love your gift? Yes. Yeah. So she loved her gift. What is up, you guys? Today is the morning after. <laughs> and I will say I was so exhausted yesterday. Like, so exhausted. And I think it was all because of the adrenaline, the picking, <laughs> the obviously going from place to place, the everything. Like, it's almost like I had some questions and then I forgot them. So I'm so glad that for like all of the apartments I had notes for, I knew what floor plan I wanted, I knew where I I knew what I didn't want, I knew what my no, non-negotiables were and what for sure I needed in my apartment, which one of those things was lighting and a ceiling fan. I know a lot of people don't think about the whole ceiling fan situation, but I come from Sinaloa and over there it's extremely hot, 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 hot. So because it's like that, it's like we always need a fan running. So what we do is even though the AC is on, the fans are always on because that helps to circulate the air everywhere else. So I don't know yet. I have some time to obviously think about it because the apartment that I want won't potentially be available until like end of August, which again, I'm doing all of this with time. So I do have time to like prep and figure things out still. But the date did get pushed a little bit back just because I'm like, okay, let's just still continue to figure out logistics. I might come back and check other things out. I still don't know, but I'm gonna hang out today with my family for yet another day. And then I will be taking a plane back to LA later on in the evening. But y'all, like all of you guys' reaction and stuff. First of all, thank you so much for being so welcoming to Arizona. Thank you so, so, so much. I feel like there is so much here to see, to explore, to add, like, to go on adventures in and like do a bunch of stuff and I am extremely excited for it. I love the fact that I obviously have family that I'm close to here and I'm gonna have an emotional support system and also people that I can come and visit still, you know? I know some of you guys also live in Arizona and you know some of you guys have already been reaching out and stuff so thank you for sharing all the deeds thank you for giving me all the information because that has been like the one thing that i'm like oh yeah like i need that information like insurance i literally need to change all sorts of insurances like i that's the reason why i got my glasses before i moved i got my night guard before i moved and I know I'm gonna need a new health physician, a new vision, a new med, like all sorts of things, plus new car insurance because the car insurance that I currently have in LA or in California, which is Wawanessa, they don't have it here in Arizona. I'm gonna need renter's insurance, which I've had in the past when I rented an apartment, but obviously here it might be different. So I'm gonna be looking into that. Thankfully, yes, there is a coffee bean. Yes, there's a bunch of Dutch bros. Yes, there's groceries that I go to like Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. You know, they also have fries. I believe that's another grocery store, which I haven't visited. There's a lot of stores that I'm really used to. And remember how I gave you guys the tip of like, there's no Ding Tag Fung in the place that I'm going to. Well, 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 Dean Tai Fung is coming to Scottsdale and I'm so, so, so excited because I'm like, yes, I'm leaving but you're coming with me because that is one of my favorite foods. So I can't wait to try all the sorts of foods that Arizona has to offer, especially because Arizona is super close to Sonora, Sinaloa, which is kind of like the style that I grew up in, the food that I grew up in. So I know there's 
bomb places for mariscos i know there's bomb mexican places which is obviously what i grew up with there may not be any pupusas which heartbroken a little bit sad about but i'll find different dishes in different places and of course i'll still be going to la back and forth as many times as i really want to because you know like i'm mostly off in the weekends and whatnot so i can always go out there for a day or two and kind of literally just go like boom boom and that's it i'm back in town you know so if i really really am craving something of course other than the emotional support from my actual close family then that'll be different or to physically see them and whatnot and visit them but yeah <laughs> you guys now know what the deal is where i'm at and where i'll be at so thank you as always so much for the support that you extend towards me for all the good vibes thank you so so much for everything and for coming along we're still here we're still gonna be packing back home we're still gonna be moving and doing and working on everything so stay tuned i love you guys